Hey, hope we're doing okay today. Just had a quick word about um, about the importance of relationships, good relationships with people. And I'm reminded of a story in the Gospels where there was a, a man who was basically, he was like a paralytic. He couldn't really walk. In some translations, it says that he had palsy. And then it talks about how he was on a bed and uh, Jesus Christ was preaching one day, he was teaching in a house and there was no space, everybody was crammed together and the only, the, the only way that they could draw the attention of Christ at that time was by actually going to the roof of the, of the building and, and letting the man um, down and it was his friends that brought him, who brought him to the presence of Jesus Christ. And then the Bible says something interesting, the Bible says that when Jesus saw the faith of his friends then he said let your let your sins be forgiven and he was healed immediately now there's two things that we could take from this little uh, from this little story the first thing that i take from that is how jesus said that let your sins be forgiven and then immediately he was healed so there's always that question in healing um, how come somebody wasn't healed Sometimes a lot of faith healers just say something like along the lines of, oh, he wasn't healed because maybe the people didn't believe. Now, I don't really know if that's the best explanation. I think it could be an explanation as to why people do not get healed. I know this video is not about that, but I'll speak about it briefly. I would say that there are a couple of explanations as to why people don't get healed. Number one is because perhaps there isn't that anointing upon the preacher's life. Uh, because there's different degrees of anointing and if they haven't received that power from Jesus Christ if they haven't received that power from God Almighty uh, then they they just simply can't do it because uh, not all diseases but some diseases are caused by by devils by unclean spirits and I say not all diseases not all illnesses are caused by devils because obviously if you put your hand above your, so upon some fire that's not going to be caused by a devil maybe there, there was a devil that influence you to do that but the disease itself the infirmity itself is not being caused by a devil but there are some uh, some illnesses like cancer uh like insanity mental illnesses which are definitely influenced by unclean spirits now so that could be one of the reasons why people are not being held because they haven't uh, the preacher the, or the healer the man of god the woman of god has not received that anointing that power from god to, to drive out those devils that inhabit the person now the second reason is what we have in this passage it says let your si your sins are forgiven and immediately he was healed so that shows you that in the midst of a healing it, it, it's god's grace it's god's goodness it's god's mercy that results in somebody's healing so it could well be that god refuses to heal certain people because he 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 just doesn't want them to be healed it's almost like saul saul had a mental illness it said because he kept a rebellion and that mental illness stayed with him until he died. There were times when David would play before him and it would, it would soothe him, it would, uh, it would heal him t uh, uh, temporarily. And, and I mean, God allowed that to happen because obviously he wanted to bring David close to the site of Saul and he had a plan for David's life. But he, he let Saul die in, in that predicament. He could have easily have healed him. So similarly, when some people are not healed it's because God is, is actually withholding uh, his mercy to them now that's the first thing i want to take from it but the the main message the second message we can take from this passage is about the importance of destiny helpers and how those around you can actually influence the the uh, uh the things that you're going to inherit the things that you're going to receive in life and we see with this man that because of his friends he was able to stand in the presence of jesus and he was able to be healed so that's why i think it's so important the bible talks about how the hand cannot say to the leg that i have no need in of you that we're all really important and it's it, it takes uh, some effort some sacrifice on our heart on our behalf to make sure that we're situated to people who are close to god because by being close to, to them they can bring us closer to god we see in the case of uh, daniel shadrach meshach and abednego daniel was promoted by nebuchadnezzar because he was able to interpret the dream which Nebuchadnezzar had. And because of that, uh, the next passage then talks about, the next verse talks about how Meshach, Shadrach and Abednego stood as counsellors. They stood as, as leaders as a result of Daniel because Daniel's promotion resulted in their promotion. The promotion of Jesus Christ resulted in the promotion of, 
of Paul, the promotion of Peter, the, the promotion of John. Had it not been for Christ, these apostles would not have the, the position that they have in the kingdom today. So that is why we have to be very, very, uh, we have to be very, very careful to ensure that we have people around us, people that can help us, people that can draw us closer to God. Because if you just have that one right person in your life, then you're, you can go far on the basis of the sacrifice of that one person. You can have that encounter with God on the basis of that one person.